high. So far we have seen various topics pertaining to entrance orientation. So in this recorded video let's focus on remaining topics like division of subjects. So what kind of schedule should we follow when you're preparing for entrance and also time management, diet, role of friends and power of discussion etc. So first coming to division of subjects. So it shouldn't be a, a real challenge for you because we're already giving you a kind of preformed schedule. So you can follow that in order to comprehensively cover all subjects in dentistry by the end of the year, at least by September or October. From uh, there onwards, you'll be having this revision and your grantors, right? So division of subjects we can do like one subject per week or you can plan even two subjects for two weeks like likewise right you can have your own plan or you can just follow our schedule in order to complete all subjects on time right so you can check out mission 12 batch schedule for more information now coming to time management often we face this question like how should i efficiently and effectively manage my time and what if i am doing internship so how can i make most use of my present moment so let me just put a one thing in a simple manner right now assume that you're doing internship so you're preparing for 2019 NEET. so what what amount of time do you have for prep can you allot one hour or two hours or five hours or eight hours so these are some of the questions which you should ask yourself let's assume that you're attending your internship you're posted so you'll be busy from nine to four let's assume you're busy from eight to five one hour before and one hour after so if you have this habit of waking up early in the morning let's say assume five o'clock so from 5 a.m till 8 a.m you're getting around three hours so you can make up at least two hours among those given three hours and let's assume that in the eight to five cycle of your given day if you can utilize or make up at least two hours or maybe at least one hour for preparation so that further contributes to your preparation now after your college so you have 5 pm till 10 pm so you have around five hours if you can make up at least three hours in those given five hours so it will be like total morning two plus college time one plus evening three which is around five to six hours so five to six hours in the beginning is the best time is maximum time which you can conveniently and comfortably allot for your prep you might find it challenging to allot five hours every day initially start with one hour that's the best thing you can do start with at least one hour after one week or two weeks you'll start picking up the pace and you'll start allotting at least five to six hours and as the preparation goes on and on you'll realize that you should spend even more time and eventually you'll end up around eight hours ten hours or twelve hours depending upon your individual capacity so those who are doing internship keep this in mind do not assume that internship is a hindrance in fact if you're given an entire day or whole day for prep you'll be wasting most of your time but if you have some kind of obstacles it's always better because you feel motivated you stay focused so assume that internship or your postings are not hindrance as such they are motivational elements so keeping that in mind, make sure that you allot your morning time, college time as well as your evening times for preparation. And those who can spend the whole day into, uh, for sake of prep, then you can make most use of it. You can even spend 8 hours, 10 hours or 12 hours. I can't standardize a particular time, but you can make use most of your time. Just assume that I have to use maximum amount of time in a given day for sake of prep by keeping my distractions at bay. If you have this kind of orientation, you'll be making most out of your present moment. Right? So that's pertaining to time management. Uh, in fact, there is a lot to discuss further. If you have any further queries in detail, drop a mail. And in order to effectively utilize a given time, we have strategically designed our daily and weekly schedules. You can drop a mail uh, for more details pertaining to it. And those who are registered, you can check our general section of e-classes where you'll get this daily and weekly schedules, right? So that really helps you in effectively managing your time, right? And then, coming to diet so 
I don't say you shouldn't eat uh, your loud uh, your food uh, food varieties which you love the most like biryanis oil stuff or something but make sure that you're not having junk food to a greater extent in a given day you should have a balanced diet diet is very important the more nutritious food you have the better you feel physiologically and also psychologically and that further contributes to your prep so avoid junk food as much as for, uh, possible avoid uh, deep fried items have plenty of fruits and my personal favorite green tea so try to have these kind of liquids and fresh leafy vegetables it's always good you feel light and you feel like you can stay focused without feeling drowsy right so good food is very important and sleep for minimum of six to eight hours depending upon your individual uh, capabilities or your way of circadian rhythms is very important few feel like seven hours of sleep is good few for few like eight hours of sleep is really necessary to have a more energetic day so you might be knowing by now like how many hours of sleep you need to have Right, so uh, make sure that you're allotting the amount of time that is required for sleep rather than sacrificing it. In fact, sleep and food are good investments. They're not waste of time and money. So if you can invest the right amount of time in sleep, that's going to make your day more energetic and even more wonderful and beautiful. Right, so have plenty of sleep. Okay, and regarding friends and discussions, I made these points in the previous live session this morning. So the moment you start discussing with your friends the better you feel because you'll start discussing only when you know so once you start discussing it gets registered in your mind and even after a couple of months later you feel like yes i have discussed this specific point during that time and you'll remember that for sure so in order to discuss you should know first so it means only when you're confident and thorough with a particular concept or topic then you'll be ready for discussion so discussions are always good in fact they should be compounding they should be complementary but not contradicting so make sure that don't waste much of the time and don't deviate from discussion to other unnecessary topics but positive discussion discussion pertaining to subject economics is always useful right so keep that point also in mind and regarding preparation as an opportunity i keep on saying this i'll highlight this specific point again at the end of the uh, today's session but anyways i'll just give you some more view in fact as i mentioned previously you're not preparing for sake of answering the correct answer for a given mcq it's not for sake of knowing correct answers for a specific MCQ. This preparation objective is mainly to increase and improve your knowledge base so that you'll do much better in your post-graduation and in the rest part of your career. So have that kind of orientation, enjoy your preparation, which is really, really very important, right? Once you start enjoying, you'll not feel the stress, you'll not feel the pain. In fact, you feel like you should know more and more, you'll refer good a variety number of books and you'll enjoy these kind of discussions also, especially the academic related discussions, right? So preparation as such is not a form of punishment. In fact, it's an opportunity for you all to increase your knowledge base and improve your knowledge and it should not be taken as a form of punishment and it's not for or it's not meant for only knowing the right answers for MCQs, right? So that's regarding preparation as an opportunity. Just keep that in mind and have that kind of orientation. Fine. And regarding a study room uh, arrangement of things in your study room, usually what we advise is don't stick on to one specific place when you're studying because you might have some kind of passivation if i keep on staying in the same room for hours together every day unknowingly there can be some amount of passivation creeping in so to avoid that shift your places so have one study table your chair conveniently air conditioning if you're convenient plenty of ventilation if necessary in fact it's very good to have plenty of ventilation and least distraction if possible uh, so that others will not come and distract you. So your study room or your library facility or maybe when you're planning this combined studies, group discussions. So try to shift uh, places uh, rather than sticking to one specific place so that you entertain yourself or else you'll feel monotonous, bored and there can be passivation and the rate and pace of your prep decreases gradually. 
and my personal advice regarding study room uh, uh, arrangement of things is you should have at least a good chair a table an ergonomically designed chair so that you can sit for a longer duration and where you have least amount of distraction and never place your alarm clocks or mobiles alongside with you right and one important aspect here don't be under assumption that studying for hours together would do you good in fact again that would lead to decrease in pace of your prep rather study at a stretch for not more than 20 to 30 minutes do pay attention for this don't study for more than 20 to 30 minutes at a stretch once you complete 20 or 30 minutes duration or phase stop for two or five minutes take a walk have some snack or have some green tea and then come back again for prep but don't check your mobile again or else you'll get distracted so do not study continuously take intermittent breaks strategically so that you keep yourself entertained and also you feel energetic right so that's a few points which i can tell you pertaining to your study room design and college library is my personal favorite as you will tend to have least amount of distraction there with availability of all standard textbooks right so you can uh, try to make use of all the facilities which are there in your college library also right and regarding neat exam pattern we have discussed in detail you can refer previous videos for more information you have any questions in specific regarding the exam pattern you can always drop a mail right regarding negative marking and all and regarding uh, daily and weekly schedules i mentioned about our pdfs you can download them you can utilize them to improve your preparation to have an observation on how your preparation is going on and we have got some wonderful feedback regarding this daily and weekly schedules right so the, the moment you start implementing them you can see a lot of positive changes but the thing is you have to maintain the schedules consistently day to day week after week that's very important right and finally regarding active learning so as i mentioned previously in the morning live session give importance to active learning rather than being a passive seeker of knowledge and as i said you are learning not for sake of knowing the right answers for questions but to increase your knowledge base right so be proactive try to get references for yourself refer textbooks for yourself rather than relying on a guide or on a person completely in spite of referring if you have any questions we are there to help you we would be the happiest person to help you but provided you have done your homework right only then you can learn actually uh, passive learning seems to be very comfortable and convenient but nothing goes into you it might go only momentary but after all after some time after a few days weeks months or once a challenge comes you'll never remember what you learned passively just merely knowing the answers or merely having ready-made uh, access to some kind of study material is not going to do you any good so try to be an active learner whenever you have a doubt make a note of it Try to refer for yourself, refer standard textbooks and then write a note of the same which you have referred in your customized notes and if you still want to elaborate on it, you can take our help or you can approach me for more information. Even in study club we are planning uh, to have these doubt clearance sessions at least one week in a given month. So we will further uh, uh, discuss on that and we will let you know further if at all there are any changes in study club discussions. Okay. So try to be an active learner to score top rank in entrance exam. Seriously. Okay. And uh, finally, I have a few more uh, topics to be covered, few more important points to be discussed. So we will do that in the next recorded video so that we will not increase the length of this recorded video beyond 20 minutes right i hope you're able to follow what i'm trying to say and you have any further questions you can always drop a mail be energetic believe in yourself and the world is all yours